Good morning. Um, we are back on the extension. Scaffold's gone up. I'm gonna flip the old camera around. Beautiful. You can see this side alley. Uh, yeah, scaffold's up. Just starting the brickwork. Leon put some block work up yesterday. I wasn't here much yesterday. I was here just to help the lab get bumped out and set out. Put some, put some levels up there and just got to get a fair fixed wall starter on here now. But yeah, block work is up. I'm going to start on this brickwork on this side. And then. Uh, Leon's taking that section over there up, overhand that outer skin between the profile and the existing building, vertical DPC in place. So we'll do it off bandstands, see so yeah, a little bit awkward but uh, cracking on. And I'm gonna hopefully get this brickwork in here today. Yeah. Not bad for about an hour and a half. 250 bricks in. Leon's coming up over there, getting the brickwork up. Being savannas with muck. See the cavities are. Yeah, quite a clean cavity. And we'll just pick out the odd bits of snot before the uh, before the insulation goes in. Money shop. Beautiful. Absolutely bang on. Put in the. Uh, all starters, the ties. If you've not seen these, how they go in. So basically, drops in there like that. Muff over the top, and that's tying the new extension to the existing building. Vertical DPC between the skins in the cavity, and uh, full fill cavity insulation. And, uh, that's going to go in now in on this one so i'm going to put that in and bring it up to the underside of these ties and then i'll come up a few and then i'll stick the next next row of insulation in on top but yeah jobs are good and so far beautiful all right that is that this side up to height just racked it back for now down to the profile. I wait for Leon to get a little bit ahead, and then uh, I'm going to run in these reveals at the front. Obviously, we're turning this corner to run that back in, and then I'll rack that reveal up. Uh, then me and Leon will be over there together. But yeah, it's, uh, it's all taking shape now. Yeah, not a bad day smash to be honest. Uh, that brick and a half there, that's that's a little white. That there is up to the roof height. Uh, Leon's had his first day of laying bricks. He's done a bit of block work up till now. That's his first day on the brickwork. Chucked him in at the deep end to be honest. He's laying overhand which you don't get taught at a college or anything like that. Yeah, well done mate, great bit of work. And um, yeah, when we get back here, we'll be sticking the profile up on this corner. You can see I've left muck out of that joint there and that joint there ready for clamps. We get profile here, that profile can stay put, that one. It's already marked up and yeah we get that run in round here get a lintel on the old thing. smash mate proper smash on a facebook store uh instagram story as well love it see we are real people accidents do happen oh good morning it's uh lack of footage again <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, last little bit you saw, um, this side was up to plate, um, and the brick and a half that's there is at lintel height, um, still at the same point for me, I've been running around this morning, 
picking up more material. Leon's getting that side over there overhand, getting that on up. And so yeah, he's uh, getting there. I'm now gonna infill this section in here around that's lintel height, so that's now gonna come back and be racked. Good, so yeah, sit back, relax. Good morning. We are back on the ranch. So, as you know, the brickwork that side's up ready. That's lintel bearing here. So once lintel goes on, I can bring this corner round. Um, lintel bearing on this one is there. Um, there's five more cores of brick on that. So I'm going to flick that in this morning in here. And uh, then we cut the courses, lean over, joint up, brush it off. Now I'm going to put insulation in, and now I'm going to flick this block work in, bring that round, get this up to lintel height, and uh, get this lintel across here. That's the plan. And then get the soldier course on. And then we've got five course over the top. So yeah, we'll see how we get on. Like I said, just flicking this section through here. I flick the brickwork in, I think it's five or six course. And now I'm just whipping this block work in here to put some insulation in and then that'll be that side up to height and then it's concentrating through this front here then getting the lintel on well getting that block work round up to the lintel bearing here same this side and then get the lintel on and then lay over the lintel we've got soldiers and that to go on but yeah man flying getting on well it's just me and dean today um yeah punching on oh, beautiful friday day and it's absolutely roasting hello skies oh yeah sorry that i got it wrong there's a little cloud up there but yeah blue skies little bearings on little bearings on brickworks wrapped back ready for lintel same that side same with the block work so uh, I'm going to go and pick up the bricks from through the front and the blocks right over the lintel because we're basically out of bricks and blocks now. Lintel's here. We're going to get it on. Right, good morning. We are back. It's a still day. So. Yeah. It's a minute. Called in some recruits. Say hi, Brad. All right. Oh, hey. Yeah, man. Yeah. So, um, yeah, protecting all the kitchen. It's protecting as we can, cardboard's got floor protection. Gonna get some macros up, less drilling steel. Yeah, I'll come back to it a bit, but yeah, can't. Right, so this is the inside now. All that crowed up, protecting the floor, protecting the sides. Board across the ceiling. Boards across the floor. And uh, yeah, that's inside. Acros are going up on the outside, as you can see just through here. So yeah, that's where we're at. over the window all being held up strong boys and acros this is where the opening is actually coming to gonna be a big old padstone on here the steel sitting here we're hoping that these 
existing joists. We've just got to notch a little bit out the bottom, um, like 15, 20 mil out the bottom of each joist. And then uh, you see that there, the underside, basically the top of my finger, that's finished ceiling height. So if we notch 15, 20 mil out here, the uh, the base of the steel, the steel, the base plate will sit in just above the finished floor and then by the time we get the plasterboard up against the steel uh, give us a flush flush ceiling from in there coming through into the new extension so yeah it's all go all right to get the uh to get the steel in here what we're having to do is just take off we just have to cut back the end of these ceiling joists just a little bit um just so that can then sit in the web against another timber and then all be put in on door stainers. So we're having to cut, cut about 50 mil off the, uh, the steel that's going in here is miles overkill. Right, there's at least 305 mil wide and we've only got a getting on the 280, 290 cabinet the wall in the existing house. The inside all open. Hopefully, we're going to get this steered in very soon. Let's just make sure as we're going up that it's not too much weight. Do you know what I mean? And it gets to the top and it starts tipping. Oh, it's it's tough. Tough. Brad, what are you like? None of you are in on the upgrade, are you? That's the steel. The steel is in. Pad stone over there. Pad stone there. It's just being held up at those strong boys. It's all been packed in above. Just got a brick to put in now. But that is the beam in. So yeah, jobs are good. Well, good morning. I'm gonna go straight in. I am glad that is where it is. Bloody thing. That was hard work, last couple of days. Um, you just see some real short clips that you've just seen um, and some pictures. There weren't really a lot of live footage, but that beam is now in there. That took some doing, but we've done it. So now I'm jumping back out here today. I'm gonna just get this, this brick and block around to here throw over this lintel, get a cavity tray on and then block work. There's only this one course to go over the top over here. Soldiers over the lintel. Um, so yeah, going to get it on and uh, get that done. And then I've got cut the course, uh, whatever you can see down here, just on this brickwork to go under the door. And that, that brings it up perfect for the door for a, um, a level threshold. So yeah, that's, that's where we're at. It's been full on this week. We are now, we're Thursday, Monday, Tuesday, still in. I let it all go off yesterday. I had a family day out with the kids, which was absolutely needed and lovely. So we're back here Thursday. We're gonna get this round, get it there, and that'll be then ready for plate. Um, yeah all good and then it'd be over to the roofers uh, come in put the flat roof on cut the roof lights 
Um, gonna get a timber suspended floor. So at some point next week, we're gonna have a skip here. We're coming for a day just to just have a good tidy up in this oversight where we've knocked through, um, get all the hardcore out. And then it just leaves three little openings existing openings they're already blocked up there's three little openings in the existing house just along here um, just to brick up and it's so cool i managed to do and then that's another one all wrapped up so there's light at the end of the tunnel I said that's the perfect time then there's the light but yeah we're here we're gonna get it on now catch up with you in a while so this little bit of brickworks up and uh same that end and then we have a combination uh, of the Rhino down. build. Yeah, combination of the Rhino build profiles and the uh, SMP boards building products. This is for the uh, going over the lintel. And that's how we've done it. I've got a clamp on that end. Clamp on that end. The two profiles are together perfectly level then all i'm going to do now is use my brick gauge for my soldiers what an absolute awesome piece of kit smp building products find them on instagram and uh, smp boards they also do the the muck boards and then Rhino build for the profiles. Right, so that is that one done. Had a sweep off of the scaffold. So we're clear now for the roofers. So today we went just here at these courses, brick to bring round to the corner. Soldiers over the lintel. As you see, using the SMP uh, boards. The old jigs that slide onto the lintel. That's the first time we're using them. I'll tell you what, so much easier absolutely bang on so we'll be back here one day next week just to sort out the floor in now it's an absolute bomb site at a minute but yeah we'll be back probably tuesday now to get that all cleared but other than that it's over to the roof he's going to put put a plate round and then he's going to run his joists that way into the steel and then he's going to put timber suspended floor in now. But for now, that's another one done. We're going block paving tomorrow.